Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Drobo B810N network attached storage device. This is great for both small to medium sized businesses as well as creative power users. Here's a look at the accessories. You get a user guide with installation instructions as well as a warranty against defects page. Also included is a safety and warranty guide and LED functionality labels in different languages. There's a Drobo sticker thrown in too. It's nice to see two 1.8 meter ethernet cables for the two ethernet ports on the device. The dual ports allow for adaptive link bonding, network failure protection, or you can set them up as independent networks. And here's the 1.8 meter power cord. Once again, Drobo has included a bag over the NAS to protect it. Seagate has provided enterprise-grade drives, two 4TB hard drives, one 8TB hard drive, and two 240GB SSDs for the sake of this video. These drives are designed to run 24-7, have rotational vibration sensors, and come with a 5-year warranty and data recovery options, meaning these are enterprise-grade NAS drives. The 8TB drive has a 300TB per year workload rating limit, which Seagate claims is the best in the industry. I also received two IC Dock 2.5-inch to 3.5-inch hard drive and SSD converters for the 240GB SSDs. The B810N measures 309mm wide by 138mm tall by 358mm deep, and it weighs 7.4 kilograms without any hard drives installed. This NAS sports a simplistic design with a clean top and side panel. Here's a look at the front of the B810N. I like that the front cover has a matte finish to it so it's less fingerprint prone. You'll notice there are ventilation holes for cooling on the top and bottom edges. The cover is removable and attaches magnetically. Behind the front door are the 8 drive slots for installing 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives. The capacity limit is 64 terabytes and the drives of any manufacturer, capacity, speed and or cache can be used. That's versatile. Something to note is that new drives are automatically configured for use in the array. To the right of the drive bays are the capacity, activity, and power LED indicators. On the other side of the cover is an LED activity guide. There's plenty of vent holes all around the drive bay cover so everything stays nice and cool. Let's install some drives. Press down on the tab and carefully slide the drive inside until it seats. I'll do the same for the other 3.5 inch drives. There's only one way to install them correctly. Time to slot in the 2.5 inch SSDs. Press to open the IC Dock drive converter, then place the SSD inside the housing. Lower the lid and click to secure everything in place. Just like the 3.5 inch drive installation, press down on the tab and insert the 2.5 inch drive with converter. Let's pop in the last drive. When you add two SSDs, you can accelerate performance for all simultaneous users. This can be done via data tiering and hot data cache. Don't forget to replace the cover and we're all set. There are four rubber feet on the bottom of this unit. You can take off the screws to remove the feet. On the rear is a ventilated area where the dual fixed cooling fans are. Starting from the left side is the reset button, two gigabit ethernet ports, power port, power button, and Kensington lock slot. There's a backup battery which is a lifesaver as it protects your data from loss during a power outage. Here are some specs. This Robo is based on a quad-core Marvel processor with 2 gigs of RAM, and it uses a highly tuned Linux operating system. Before powering on this device, let's plug some cables in. Connect the ethernet cable or cables, then make sure the power connector is firmly attached. Press the power button and this Drobo will come to life. Be sure to look for green LEDs where your drives sit so you can rest easy knowing they're all in healthy condition. Here's a look at the Drobo B810N software, the Drobo dashboard. Drobo will automatically prompt you for a firmware update if necessary. You can sort your Drobos by health status, name, and product type. This is where you can switch from icons view to list view. Drobo discovery settings will allow you to enable auto discovery of a device or you can add Drobo by IP. Click on the B810N image to access the status, capacity, share, and other settings of this unit. Let's start with status. You can see the system information here. Clicking on individual drives will allow you to see the health and other stats of a particular drive. In addition to the system and drive information, you can also access the network information and performance. Here's a look at capacity. Right now, 150 gigs of SSD space is used for acceleration. There's 7.26 terabytes of free space and 66.12 gigabytes of used space. Let's go from the capacity chart to usage. This is a breakdown of how your storage is being used. The white bar represents free space, the blue bar is reserved for expansion, and the orange bar is used for protection. Beneath capacity is shares. You can assign a drive letter to a share. Open up share settings for more options. Select a share, then change up the user access to how you see fit. The eyeball means read only access to this share. The pencil icon means read and write access to this share. Click add to add a share, type out the name, and you can choose to enable time machine support. It's great that you can control how much space Time Machine uses. Click OK to create the new share. Just like the other share, you can change up the user access on the right side. You can manage access per user instead of per share. This time, you can select a user and change up the share access via the pencil and eyeball icons. Click Add to add a user. Once you're done, click OK and you'll see the new share reflected here. The Drobo maintains performance even when multiple users are accessing files. 
You can share files with OS X, Windows, or Linux users. Talk about hot compatibility. Here's a list of compatible operating systems. Well, this is new, Drobo DR. The DR stands for Disaster Recovery. This allows you to set up a pair of B810Ns to automatically make an off-site copy of your data. Drobo apps offer services such as Koken, WordPress, Plux, and the like to expand functionality. Click on the desired app, then select the Install option. Drobo offers apps like Drobo Access, which allows 5N and B810N owners to access their data anywhere, anytime through a secure and encrypted network. And Drobo Pix allows 5N and B810N owners the ability to automatically upload and organize photos and videos seamlessly to a Drobo from their iOS device. In Tools, you can turn blink lights on. This will make the Drobo light up in holiday fashion so you can pinpoint the device with ease. You can shut down the device as well as restart it via the software. There's the option to reset the Drobo as well as check for firmware updates or manually update. Drobo settings will allow you to access general settings. This is where you can enable dual disk redundancy. This feature gives you more data protection but sacrifices more disk space. There's also disk drive spin down for power savings. Below these options is the dim lights section. You can set your Drobo LEDs to low light. Here's what it looks like. I could barely tell the LEDs were even glowing in person. On the 5 setting, I can make out the lights and this level of dimness is very comfortable. Level 10 lighting is the brightest setting. It's a good idea to keep it on 10 when you are looking for this Drobo. The other settings you can toggle under Drobo settings include network settings, admin settings, you can change the password here as well as enable apps. And lastly, there's alert, where you can enable or disable email alerts. Under dashboard preferences, you can play with Drobo discovery, enable check for automatic updates, change up alerts, and enable system tray application. Finally, there's help and support. Here's where you can register your Drobo, check the user guide, contact support, and the like. That wraps up this look at the Drobo B810N network attached storage device. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joan Tech Lover Facebook, Joan Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joan Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to follow me on my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess it's bye for now, and see you later!